Wrestling fans, you know, guys, we are three weeks away from SmackDown and Monday Night Raw putting on their fifth largest pay-per-view on the calendar year. Money in the bank. And on Monday Night Raw side this week, we saw AJ Styles and Seth Rollins put on a pretty decent uh, uh, contract sign. We saw Teddy Long take over creative because all we saw is tag team matches. Let me holla at you, player. And we saw the likes of the monster among men, Rod Strowman, Drew McIntyre, Ricochet, and, and Mr. Nobody Wants to See Him on TV himself, Baron Corbin, get named Money in the Bank ladder match participants. SmackDown Live. SmackDown Live, wrestling fans. I want you to picture this, okay? Because on Monday Night Raw, they just, eh, eh. It was just Seth Rollins and AJ Styles that really got us invested and money in the bank. SmackDown Live, on the other hand, we got a side of Kofi Kingston, just a smidge, just a taste that we have not seen in quite some time. And what I hope WWE does from here on out with this rivalry between Kofi Kingston and Kevin Owens. Throw away the pancakes. You have Xavier Woods taken out. Big E is being made fun of by... Kevin Owens, throw away the pancakes, add on to the serious Kofi Kingston that we really haven't seen this type of side since, you want to get down to it, Randy Orton versus Kofi Kingston back when they were giving him that huge push. And they had Survivor Series teams. Add more to it each and every week until we get to Money in the Bank. And if you go into the Saudi Arabian show in June, keep it up. I would love that. Pancakes are still going to sell with the fans, okay, on WWE Shop. Dot com. All right. You don't have to worry about that. Kofi Kingston doesn't need to uh, 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 throw them out at the kids every week for them to uh, not sell, you know, and all the T-shirts. Let's get serious. Because Kevin Owens is serious. Kevin Owens is taking everybody out. Kevin Owens is making fun of all your merchandise. Kevin Owens is saying it's just a big bunch of junk and trash and crap. Kevin Owens is wanting this big, nasty side of Kofi Kingston. Heck, Kevin Owens is, and wrestling fans, you know this to be true, is the Sami Zayn of SmackDown Live. Because Sami Zayn makes fun of the wrestling fans, insults the wrestling fans on Monday Night Raw. It is kind of humorous, but that's what he does. And honestly, to be blunt, 
Kevin Owens tonight spoke exactly what Vincent Kelly McMahon, Kevin Dunn, and the people out there, this is uh, 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 going to stab some people, okay, in the side. I'm just warning you. But it's the people out there that look at the peop the the size of Kofi Kingston, the size of uh, Ali, the size of uh, those type of superstars, and think not championship material, and think absolute zero charisma. And I could list a laundry list of superstars. You all know exactly who and what I'm talking about. When Kevin Owens said, Kofi Kingston is not championship material, and Kofi Kingston even believes he's not championship material. That is what Vincent Kennedy McMahon Jr. is thinking what they did at WrestleMania when all of us wrestling fans got happy because Rollins won, Kofi won, and Becky won. Now, since then, what have they been doing? Shooting truth bombs at us on the way to money in the bank about how w, about what wwe truly thinks about their fans even more i mean it is amplified and what they think about their champions as well just think of this wrestling fans just think of it you have Becky Lynch. Taking on Bailey tonight. Sounds like a good matchup. It was. I didn't have any complaints with the match. Becky Lynch won. They went out. They put on a good show for us. What happened afterwards? Charlotte. Yeah. Number one, when is she going to stop dressing like uh, uh, she's going to a funeral? And number two, I, I just had this nasty gut feeling that if there's one championship that changes hands, if there's one that changes hands at money and Chloe, you okay? You all right? Huh? If there's one championship that changes hands at money in the bank, what's wrong with you? I don't know what's wrong with my dog. You all right? Yeah, you know. You're cringing over what I'm about to say, too. That's what's probably wrong with it. If there's one title that changes at Money in the Bank, it will be the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. Charlotte will become a 10-time, 10-time 
Ten time, 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 ten time. SmackDown Live Women's Champion. Uh, now I say that and you see me cringe over that and she gets the upper hand and I kicking Be Becky in the face throwing Bailey into the steel ring post But if she wins, it kind of makes sense, wrestling fans. You have SmackDown Live carried by Charlotte, and you have Becky Lynch carried by Raw. Or you have Raw carried by Becky Lynch. Excuse me. However, it is a slap in the face to everybody that has supported Becky. It is a slap in the face to Becky Lynch if WWE does this. Some of you might say, why? It's real simple. It's right there, wrestling fans, right in front of you. All you have to do, all you have to do is look at what they did at WrestleMania. They gave Becky both championships. They let her make history. Beating Ronda Rousey, getting both championships. Do you notice what they're saying now? First ever matchup, Bailey versus Becky Lynch. Wrestling fans, I'm going to be blunt with you. This is the same type verbiage that they used with Ronda Rousey before she dropped it. First time ever. And if Becky Lynch does drop this championship, it just proves that WWE knew they had to send the fans home happy. They could not give Charlotte that victory at WrestleMania. They did not want the fans home, going to home, crapping all over that main event. And Ronda Rousey was not walking out the victor. That's pretty much what that is uh, uh, meaning. If... She drops that that championship. Besides, SmackDown needing a, a champion to carry that show. Because quite frankly, going into Fox, no offense to everybody that wanted both those championships combined. And I even said this. You know Fox is going to want its own women's championship on it. Its own main title as far as WWE on it. Tag teams, so on and so forth. Even though by the look of the tag team division on SmackDown Live, it is little to none. none. Speaking of tag teams, the Hardy Boys drop the tag team championships tonight.
They relinquish the tag team gold tonight. Now, wrestling fans, guys, let's be honest here, okay? Let's be honest. WWE did a bad, horrible job playing this up. They did a horrible job making it look like Lars Sullivan took out took out Jeff Hardy. Sorry. They did. I've been praising Lars Sullivan. But WWE, you have Jeff Hardy come out on a crutch and say he can barely walk by himself. And you show a video package of Lars Sullivan beating up Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy. And Lars Sullivan does not touch his leg not one time in that entire video package. How? How, wrestling fans? How, WWE? Does that make it where he cannot stand up on his own? To me, he still can. Him getting body slammed twice still constitutes being able to stand on your own. Got to do a better job than that. All right. But whatever the case. And the last thing that I really want to point out that's really worth talking about is who they named for the Money in the Bank ladder match this year. The men and women. Okay, wrestling fans. The men and women. Now, as far as the men is concerned, much different look than Monday Night Raw's. On SmackDown Live, we have... Ali, Finn Balor, Andrade, and Randy Orton. Let's just be honest here. Let's be honest. Mustafa Ali, really, if you want to get down to it, I have everybody in this match that... I can see would benefit from high flying spots, possibly winning simply because he did not get his opportunity because he got injured. This is it. This is it. But do I see WWE pulling the trigger on this? No. I don't see WWE pulling the trigger on this. Finn Balor. He got the IC strap. He's not winning. He's in there for a name. Randy Orton. Another name. Another name. This money in the bank contract. This year. This ladder match this year will be won by a heel. I am predicting it right now. There is no way... Anybody's going to change my mind on this one, okay? With the uh, the people they have in this, there's three people that can win this matchup. Three. It'll either be Drew McIntyre. He could benefit from it. It'll be Ali. He could benefit from it. Or, 
it'll be somebody who is long overdue, long overdue, and, and really could benefit from this contract, along with Selena Vega, and that is Andrade, or Andrade Cien Almas. And he could go on a tear, on a path, until he gets the WWE Championship. And this time, the person can win the cash-in, not lose. Strowman lost. We don't want another one of those. Now, as far as the women, we got Carmella, we got Mandy Rose, we got Bailey, and we have Ember, Ember Moon. Bailey, she's not winning Jack. She's not winning Jack. I don't even know why she's in this matchup, to be, to be blunt, wrestling fans. I don't know why she's in it. I'm surprised that she's in it. She's probably in it because there's nobody else left to put in this matchup. Carmella? What? I'm sorry. With this uh, whole idea, with this concept that you have to put in the people that won last year, it's just dumb. Braun Strowman and Carmella have absolutely zero reason to be in this matchup these matches. They have zero reason. Ember Moon, yeah, it's her time. It's her time. She deserves to win. She deserves to have a women's championship. She's deserved it for quite some time. But will WWE pull the trigger on it? Of course not. Mandy Rose. Mandy Rose. She came this close earlier this year. She'll finish the job. And it starts with the money in the bank contract. She is one of those hills that she'll need the contract her first time and cash in and win. Trust me. With everybody that they have in this matchup, Mandy Rose will win. Trust me. And that was SmackDown Live, really. Roman Reigns I'm not talking about tonight. Roman Reigns I refuse to talk about tonight. Not because it's Roman Reigns, but because they actually decided to team him, uh, make him face the... B team, B team, no, no, no. B team, B team, no, no, no. B team, B team, no, no, no. And that's what I got for you about Roman Reigns. WWE, you are putting on one of the worst builds for a Roman Reigns rivalry I have seen in quite some time. Roman Reigns facing Raw superstars, the B team, Elias, Shane McMahon, horrible. No one wants to see this crap. And that's what I got for the end of SmackDown Live. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a big thumbs up. Give me a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel today. And if you enjoyed this, tune into everything that I give to you each and every week. And until I see you again, this is Webby. And I'll catch you on the other side. Talk to you later.